Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about OBD2 readers. It's something I hear quite often in social media groups and it's something I've used for quite a while. So I thought I'd give you the rundown on how they work, how they can benefit you and how easy they are to set up. So let's get to it. So here's my reader. Purchased from eBay, it was around £17. Uh, you can find them on places like Amazon as well. Like I said before, really easy to use, simple to fit. First you want to find your OBD2 port, which is down here. You take off the two screws. Take the panel away. You will find a port next to a strip of fuses. Much clearer view for you. So it's this port you want in. So simply line up the reader into the port. Plug it in. And we're ready to go. Now once your reader is installed, you can turn your ignition on, turn your engine on. Normally I have one of the cradle at the top, but for this video to make it easy, I'm going to use my main display. Go and find your app. I use Talk, Talk Pro, loads of features on. Within Talk Pro, you have quite a few settings and plugins. You've got real-time information, fault codes, map view of where you've been, track recorder, that also uses your camera if you've got a, an outside uh, mount, and test results, graphing, loads more plugins they can go through. To show an example, let's go into fault codes. This will allow you to do a scan of the engine. Now the scan's complete, you can see I have one fault, which is an engine coolant temperature circuit. It's a problem I knew about already, uh, that will be covered in a future video. This will allow you to better determine what issues are wrong with your car. You can take the fault codes to the garage, you can use Google to look at them yourself. It's not a full diagnostics, but it gives you a better understanding on what's going on. Another thing I can show you, real-time information. You can view revolutions, coolant temperature, speeds, torque, horsepower, throttle data. You can also fully customise display. Add other displays. You've got the choice of how you want to show it. You've also got choice, plenty of choice of what data you want to show. The benefit of using Talk Pro is you can link them up as well. So if you're using multiple displays, especially during tests. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that's helped some of you out. Uh, if you need any advice, any questions, put down in the comments or feel free to message me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.